Hi everyone, in this project we will design 2.4 GHz micro strip feed patch antenna. We will cover all the states of designing in this video and uh, I will not cover the basics, hoping that you know uh, all of this and if there will be any questions you can ask in the comments. First of all, we open the 2019 CST, then we click on the new template and choose microwaves and RF optical then we choose circuits on antennas uh, part click next next we choose planner uh, start click next choose time domain for antennas it is advisable to use time domain and click next uh, we will just keep the parameters like this we will use millimeters and gigahertz and nanoseconds in this project. Next, we define the frequency minimum and the maximum frequency. We choose 2 and 2.8 gigahertz in this project. And for monitors, we will use a field and far field in this project. Uh, other monitors we will not use. And click next. Uh, CST created a template. We can uh, change uh, template net for the uh, use uh, in the pro uh, next videos. 2.8 gigahertz patch antenna. And click finish. Uh, you know, I have already done this project, and you can see all the dimensions here. And I will cover all of this. First of all, we will save uh, this project. In this gap, I will say uh, 2.8 GHz patch version 1. And click OK. We can see the name. First of all, we will design the ground of the patch antenna. We will click in modeling shapes, break, click escape. And uh, this uh, pop-up appears. Uh, here we can define name and component. We say component is patch material. We can load from the material library. Our ground uh, will be copper. So we uh, type copper here and we choose analog copper. Here are the parameters of this material click next next we write here ground for defining antenna next uh, here are the boxes where we define the limits dimensions of our brick uh, here they are in the cartesian coordinates uh, it is advisable to use parameters in this area i can show how it's set we choose uh, Antenna parameters as SPX divided by 2, SPX divided by 2. I will show what these parameters will mean. SPI divided by 2, it's uh, Z mean, it is the height of the Ava ground. And it will, uh, if we click preview, uh, it will ask us the parameter of the SPX. SPX will be our X dimensions of the antenna. In this uh, direction, we will choose 8. I will later uh, say uh, what does it means. And we can here type the descriptions. Substrate dimension X. Next, we will define here. It will also go 8 substrate dimension, yeah, y. And we can here see the our ground plane, and we also see here parameters. Uh, in the optimization and the parameters sweep uh, stages, we can change parameters for that without any changing he anything here. And if we click OK, we can see the yellow ground plane, which is copper. We can see that it 
the copper and next we will uh, design our uh, dielectric material we can again click brick click escape and we can type the electric the electric server for the typo again it uh, its dimensions will be the same. We can see that if we click S, the parameters automatically appear there. SPY divided by 2, SPY divided by 2. Uh, our height will be SPH. We can here yeah, I will define new material for you to uh, see that. If we click new material, new windows uh, pops out. We can say material name the electric and its type uh, normal and uh, its epsilon will be 4.08. We will not change its new and we also change its, uh, its tangent delta to be 0.05 for to be more realistic i will can change its color from here uh, i will not change it so if we click ok it uh, shows us the parameters of our new designed material we can click back and we can select preview it will ask the height of the dielectric material we will type it as 1.5 the electric height we click ok and we can see here the electric material if we click ok here yeah, it's appeared next we will design patch our patch antenna again we click break escape we click antenna and our dimensions here will be Anten x divided by 2, uh, anten x divided by 1, minus antenna y divided by 2, antenna y. Uh, I am using this for not to be very hard for you to understand. Next, we will type the height of the antenna. Uh, we type the height of the dielectric, so our patch antenna will be on top of the this dielectric, so we must choose our z minimum value as sph and our height will be sph plus the height of the copper plane then we choose copper as the material we click preview we define the antenna dimensions which will be 47 in the next video i will explain how i can get these values for this antenna uh, antenna dimension dimensory x antenna ah sorry antenna y dimension will be 30.2 antenna dimension y click ok we can see here the patch our patch antenna we click ok so in the as a next step we will design the transmission line over here we again click break the transmission and our x will be transmission line x uh, minus divided by 2 trx divided by 2 our yeah our transmission line will be will start from here which is uh, substrate uh, minus substrate yeah divided by two to the here which will be antenna y divided by two our z will be the same as the patch antenna subset h plus substrate plus 0 0.0 5 again it will be called we click preview and it will ask to x it will be 2.98 transmission line x 
and we can see that we can we correctly design this part click OK next we will add insets to this antenna for impedance matching uh, click again dimensions inset uh, our insets will be placed right here on the two sides of the transmission antenna they will start from uh, on transmission line x divided by 2 to the inset uh, x parameter and y will be starting from minus antenna y divided by 2 to the minus antenna y divided by 2 plus inset y again it will be we can click preview inset x will be 1.5 inset dimension x and inset inset y will be 7.1.a inset dimension y okay we can see here the inset dimensions there is something wrong in this antenna huh. I transmission on x divided by 2 plus so it is good to click preview for you to see what will happen before you click OK so we click OK we can see here the inset here and we want to put it in on the two sides of the transmission line so we click inset click transform and click mirror here for mirror plane normal we choose uh, we choose one uh, and uh, in, uh, in x uh, dimension we click preview we can see that they appears and it will be okay then we click copy and unite it simply copies this uh, inset and unites and saves it at one um, part of the antenna we click ok we can see here that there are two insets then we double click on the patch antenna click minus on the keyboard then click inset then click enter and in the end it subtracts the inset from our antenna so our antenna design is finished and here after this part we will define sources for our antenna we will des define waveguide port for this we first click F on the keyboard and choose this surface of the patch antenna then from home and macros we choose solver and after this solvers we choose ports and we calculate port extension coefficient it uh, this uh, macro will calculate the port extension coefficient which will define the dimensions of the wave guide port you can also choose this manual but this macro is very useful and i uh, prefer this and uh, in this macro we first uh, control our omega and h values then control our epsilon value then we click calculate it calculates coefficient as 5.76 and if we click construct from picket phase and click close it will automatically calculate and place our wave guide board from now on we can now simulate our antenna before simulation we can we must check something as in our parameters first of all uh, frequency we can see that our frequency is set uh, per good and we can uh, check boundaries and background it's normal uh, and boundaries and they are all good and at space I will give more information about all of this in the next video 
and uh, everything is set up we can see the field motors are all good uh, okay we can click setup solver and uh, leave everything uh, good here and click start after some time uh, our simulation will be over and uh, it will calculate for us E fields in these frequencies and far fields in these frequencies and as a result we can see how our, our antenna is designed we cannot uh, keep re results we cannot uh, wait for this and here we have already calculated uh, results here uh, first of all we can we must look at the s parameters we can see that our antenna works perfect in 2.4 gigahertz s parameters uh, s11 parameter shows how much our uh, power will reflect from our system and it shows us the working frequency of our antenna and as a far field in 2.4 gigahertz we can see our far field pattern we can sh uh, just show structure here and we can see that our radiation efficiency is uh, minus 3.3 and our gain is 4 dBi and okay and that's it for this video in the next video i will explain how i calculate all the dimensions of the antenna and give you some useful links for you to design antennas in different frequencies uh, see you later bye